when you start in a moment on your photograph, you're going to need to select your colors. I'm going to use some warm colors. You want at least three markers from the marker box. You can do warm or you can do cool. Keep it real simple for starters. Each of you should have a plastic sheet, right? Peel the white tape off of your plastic sheet. This is garbage. We don't need it. You can do that with me right now. And then you want to align the plastic and the photograph perfectly. You want to get them lined up really nice. What we're going to attempt to do is keep that alignment and we're searching in the photo as best we can for any colored areas that are dark. We're searching for dark value. So I can see if I zoom in on my little eyes, I can see that the shape of my eyes are pretty dark. And so I'm going to carefully start using my Sharpie. And I'm tracing right over my photograph. I'm getting the iris, the pupil. I'm looking at just the darkest spot. I'm going to get some of my eyebrow. Now, if I did every part of my photograph the same color, it's not going to be very visible. So I've got three warm colors here. I'm still thinking only about dark value. I've got these sort of darkened sections under the eye, and now I'm going to switch to orange. And I'll show you in a minute what this is going to do. I'm still thinking about the parts of the eye. I'm thinking about any warm color that I might include for this particular part of my drawing. And you can see I'm kind of tracing and I'm coloring in. Now, I would do that with my entire photograph to see what I've actually done in my work. I'm going to put a piece of white copy paper under. And you can see that I've started drawing my eye using warm colors. But really what I've captured is the dark part of the photograph. Do y'all see that? Does it make sense? So you're not going to draw the entire thing. You're only thinking about the darkest shapes. Those dark shapes are going to become colored areas using either warm or cool. You got to pick warm or cool. What's going to happen is the person is going to be one kind of color. The background will be a different one. So if my person is warm, my background may be cool. If my person is cool, my background may be warm. All right? So you're going to come shopping in a second. I'll call you up row by row. You're going to get three markers and probably a piece of copy paper so you can do this. You can slide underneath. Now, if you keep tracing and it is not lined up, see how my eye is not in the right place, and I trace the next part, my whole face is going to be messed up. So you really want to make sure you always get it properly aligned. Take your time to get it in the good position before you start working. Okay? So what we're now doing is we're thinking about color and you're thinking about values together. That's what's happening. And as we continue to do those things, you're going to get a really cool layered effect. 